What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I want to do a quick video on some gaming news that actually matters to me. I know it's, this probably won't be big news around the world, but I'm a, a huge fan of the Nintendo Switch. I've been spending a lot of time with it, uh, playing Outlast 2, playing Detention, playing a good old-fashioned Skyrim. I just think it's a, an incredible system to have. It gives you the uh, ability to play your games anywhere. I love it when it's late at night and my wife is watching Netflix on our Xbox One or something and I pull it up and I'll you know go to one of my favorite games and play it. It's made me feel like that dream is real and it actually is real for the first time. It's like a console in the palm of your hand. And recently I've been playing and, and actually beat both Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2. Uh, I got both of those on the Switch, really enjoyed them, played them at the movie theater before the movies came on, and you know, in my free time at work, just playing through them and really, really enjoying them. The Switch's controls <laughs> leave a little bit to be you know, desired when it comes to a Resident Evil game, but overall, I had a ton of fun with these games, and it really you know, got me back into the mode of what I used to love as a young man, uh, running through the world in Resident Evil and dispatching hordes of zombies. And so after completing Resident Evil Revelations 2, I actually uh, said this to, to Kate, my wife, how much I wanted one Resident Evil game in particular. And I didn't know if it would actually ever come to fruition, but that game was Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 is out on every console, even had an Android release, iOS release, that was crap. And it's been, you know, it's a very, very old game. I didn't know if Capcom would ever release it. We got great news. I didn't actually find out until this morning that Resident Evil 4 is coming to the Switch is also they're releasing Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil the remake for the GameCube uh, and all those will be coming to the Nintendo Switch in 2019 this is just incredible news for me I love Resident Evil 4 it's the Resident Evil game out of all of them that I played the most I think that the number back when I was in my mid 20s I beat the game over 40 times I want to say like 42 or 43 times I kept a log of it and I was almost hospitalized because one night I, I went and got in bed uh, with my son's mother and I laid down and tried to go to sleep and I couldn't sleep because when I closed my eyes in the distance, which it looked like maybe five feet away, and when I closed my eyes, all I could see was Leon inside of a square running. So I, play, I played quite a bit of Resident Evil uh, 4 and uh, I'm happy I quit when I did because I was obviously addicted to the game. There's a release article about this on Polygon.com. I'll drop a link in the description. Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil, and Resident Evil 0 headed to the Nintendo Switch. Some of the greatest games in the Resident Evil series are coming to the Nintendo Switch. Capcom announced on Friday on Twitter that Resident Evil, Resident Evil 0, and Resident Evil 4 will all be available on the hybrid console in 2019. So we don't have too far to long. I'm hoping maybe quarter one. When are they coming? No clue. Which versions will be available? We can only assume the HD remasters, but again, Capcom hasn't said. The publisher said it will provide more information soon. But all we have right now is the good news that these three favorites will soon be playable on the go. To me, that's the best part. To be able to play Resident Evil 4 anywhere I want. You know, my free time at work. Anywhere that, you know, someone else is using a TV, I could pull it out. And to me, that's the bee's knees. Continuing on. Resident Evil debuted on the PlayStation in 96. Resident Evil 0 followed in 2002 for the GameCube. Resident Evil 4, initially another GameCube, GameCube exclusive, came along in 2004. Capcom has re-released each of the three games multiple times over. The 2002 GameCube remake of Resident Evil is already available on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, as are remasters of Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil 4. The most recent games in the series, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, was briefly playable on the Switch as well. It was the first game to make use of a Japanese cloud streaming service for the console, which allowed owners to pay a fee that grants them access to the game. This version, which required a persistent online connection, was only available for a limited time, however, and it's just and it's yet to come to the West. This is awesome news. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know how happy I am about it. I don't know if you guys spent nearly as much time as I did playing Resident Evil 4, but it definitely uh, made an impression on me. I love Resident Evil games. My favorites in, in order would have to be this. Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil Code Veronica, Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 1, uh, Resident Evil 3, 
and that's probably all I can name right now off the top of my head. I'm super excited about this. You guys let me know in the comments, are you excited about seeing Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 0, and Resident Evil Remaster coming to the Nintendo Switch so you can play on the bus, on the train, when you're going across country, it's going to be great. Everybody's going to love it, and I can't wait till 2019. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up to show support. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.